Authorities are investigating a trio of motorcyclists who were shot and killed hours apart in spring and in Huntsville. It happened yesterday, and as Fox 26's Shelby Rose reports, there's some belief they're connected to another shooting in Oklahoma. Three separate shootings in two different states may have a connection to two rival motorcycle gangs. The first on April 1st at an Oklahoma City bar. We see the banditos basically uh, targeting the homietos, and we see Oberholzer being killed. You know, this is a chapter president um, of this gang. Two banditos were also killed in the crossfire. Fast forward just two weeks. Three motorcyclists shot and killed along I-45 Friday afternoon. No suspects have been arrested, and law enforcement has released very little public information about the shootings, only saying the victims appear to be a part of an outlaw motorcycle gang. Even though it hasn't been released, you know, I'm almost positive it's both of those clubs that were involved in the shootings. Video of the scene show bandito jackets marked as evidence, but Dr. Jared DeMello believes these men were targeted on their way to the funerals in Oklahoma City, which took place Saturday. Really, this was a retaliatory strike. So the homiotos gangs, um, they actually had the opportunity, right? They knew the bandidos were coming through. And so they said this is the perfect opportunity to retaliate in response to that. The question now, will there be more retaliation between the two gangs now that a total of six people have been killed? Sadly, yes, I think that there will be retaliation, um, and but it really depends on what that's going to look like. So it doesn't always result in mass shootings. Um, it could be uh, more targeted, um, it could, and I don't know that we'll necessarily see these like massive headlines like this weekend's incidents. Because, you know, these guys don't want to end up in jail, and outlaw motorcycle gangs are, you know, uh, susceptible to uh, charges uh, under the RICO statutes, which are federal uh, statutes that are much stronger than you know, the, the typical uh, existing criminal code. So both agree, while these crimes did happen in broad daylight on busy roads, the general public shouldn't be concerned for their safety moving forward. Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News.